Hello guys, we are here in Indonesia, to be more exact, in Gili Island at the Island Sports Club that is in a beautiful little beach club called Malibu. So anyway, today we have a very simple but interesting subject and it's how to grip or how to hold the racket. Also, you know, for those that are more beginners, remember that you have a string in every padded racket. The string can be a little bit different, you know, it can be tight and loop or like this, like a bracelet, but you have to wear it every time you play. Otherwise, it's like you are not allowed to play without the string, yeah? So normally when you put it on, you give it some, you know, some twisting. How to hold the racket, how to grip it? Well, for me, you should hold it in a way that feels comfortable to you. Of course, if we read paddle books, they say that you have to hold it continental, yes? But for example, I don't think I play with continental grip. And I think I'm doing okay for my level, yes? Why I don't play with continental grip? Because for me, it's not that comfortable. So to me, the first thing that you need to trust yourself is, how would you hold a racket when I give it to you? How, how would you hold it that is comfortable to you? Now, when you go to a coach, before the coach changes your grip to continental, which I think is a horrible mistake, to me it's a lack of knowledge and experience, they should first see what you can do with the grip that you are holding your racket. The coach now needs to take part in this. As in, okay, show me your forehand, okay, bam, perfect. Show me your backhand, well, maybe I understand that with this grip I have to close the face a bit, so I hit the backhand, okay, show me your forehand volley, okay. Back and volley, okay? Love, yes, love, yes. Maybe I can do everything you ask for. Yeah, and it feels right. So then, to me, if this grip allows you to hit most of the shots, fairly okay. Why would you be miserable for six months trying to change your grip to how it says in the books that those coaches that force you to change it right away without even testing you, it's because they have no experience. All they have on their belt is a fucking coaching course they paid for three days. Like if it's like a teaching paddle is like riding a fucking bicycle. Like if you can learn in three days what you need to teach. So please, before you accept that change, what about you also see what you can do, what you cannot do. And then if you need to adjust your grip, do it gradually, little by little. Okay. But, okay. Now, Assuming that you found a grip, for example, this one is mine. It's not continental, but I like it here. Then there are other things. Simple, simple general rules. When you are at the back of the court, when you are defending, I will recommend that your racket is not low like this, never, but you know, more horizontal. Why is that? Because most of the shots that you are going to defend, I'm going to come low. Yeah, so your preparation will be here. For example, if your racket is like this, when you are at the back, even when you drop, the, the top of the racket is, is too high, so you are going to be hitting or mishitting the ball many times on the lower part of the racket. So remember, when defending, you are lower, yes? When, you know, transitioning or becoming more offensive, the racket is going to go a little bit up. How much up? Well, it depends. Again, whatever feels comfortable for you, but the main purpose of putting your wrist up is that you feel that it's a little bit more locked because as you transition forward to the net, what happens? You are playing more volleys. You are playing more with the ball out of the air. So we say that you are using more blocking shots instead of, you know, letting the ball bounce, the ball comes up and then you can hit it. So this is actually one of the main reasons why we need to learn how to play with one grip. Of course, you are going to also learn how to switch the grip sometimes, but most of the times you play with one grip because you transition from defense to offense in no time. So, you know, you don't have time like tennis players to change the grip. So this is probably one of the main things why you need to understand that if you hit a forehand, you move forward and then you need to volley, you didn't change the grip. You just don't have time. Yeah. So this is why paddle is played with one grip, even though there will be exceptions like when you, you know, try to rescue a very difficult ball where you're going to probably open the grip. When you play a lob, you probably need to change it. When you play a smash, you probably are going to play it more like a stick, surfing tennis. So anyway, you will have to learn 
different grip. But to get started, and until you reach a pretty good level, try to focus on holding the racket in a way that is comfortable to you. With that comfortable grip, you should be able to play most of the shots. And number three, when you are defending, the racket is more horizontal. When you are attacking, the racket is more vertical. So I think if you remember these things and keeping the string on your wrist, you are set to go.